Dance Music has launched and is hoping to take on Spotify at its own game with its brand spanking new music streaming service. Here's five things you need to know that might tempt you to join Dre & Co. Let's start with the all-important music library. According to the press hype from the off, Beats Music will have over 20 million tracks and that matches Spotify track for track. As with all the other music streaming gang, you have to pay a price for no ads, naturally. For your buck, you'll also get offline tracks and Beats has apps for Android, iOS and Windows Phone. One of the big things for Beats Music is curation. Unlike Pandora and all the others, it's humans that suggest the tracks you might like based on what you've been listening to. Playlists are selected by Beats Musos and also Rolling Stone, Downbeat, XXL and Thrasher magazines. You can also get recommended playlists based on a search sentence. So if you type in, I'm on a beach sipping a white Russian, the app will suggest a playlist for your situation. With sharing, it's a similar story to other services out there. Beats Music allows you to share the music you're listening to on Facebook and Twitter, and you could follow your favorite artists. After the initial free trial period, Beats Music is only available in a paid version. Currently, it's only for those in the States, and a subscription will set you back $10 a month for one account. It's also offering a $14.99 a month deal for AT&T users that offers five accounts. What do you guys think of Beats Music? Will you switch from Spotify or any other music streaming service? Let us know in the comments below and please subscribe for your latest tech news, reviews and features videos.